Hello, my name is Yin Ying. In this video, I am going to deconstruct the throw in Overcook 2. First, let's talk about the input. As you can see from the controls menu, the throw key and the chop key are the same one. Inside the game, when the player is not holding anything, pressing this key will do nothing. And when the player picks up an item or a food supply, then press the key again, he will throw away the food to the direction they are facing. In another case, when the player holds an item and it is near a wall or a chopping board, pressing the throw key will still do the throwing animation, but the item does not get thrown out. The food will then hit the wall and fall to the ground or the chopping board. Now let's break down the metrics. I chose a level with clear grids on the floor. I moved the character to the second grid and throw away the fish. The fish flew over 5 units of grids and ended up on the 6th. Also, if the food landed on 8 units around the other character, the character will face toward the food and automatically catches the food. After several testing, I also found that throwing item takes half a second while carry the food and walk there takes one and a half second. So in the game, when the player wants to quickly pass the food or supply, using the throw is a good choice. The feedbacks for player are very clear. By pressing the throw key, player can see the animation that the food is thrown out of the character's hand and fall into the uh, far place. Also, player is able to hear the audio feedback. The throwing sound is really clear and when another character catches the food, there's also a catch sound and a little celebrating sound to increase the player's satisfaction. The game also designed some special levels for the throwing function. In level 2-1, the game introduces the throw function for the first time and intentionally let players use and be familiar with it. This is by separating the game platform into two or more pieces so that players cannot go to other places to get food. The unique level design makes the game more distinctive and challenging. Additionally, in some other levels, the platform will sink from time to time to prevent players from passing through. At this time, instead of standing there and wait for the platform to appear again, the proper use of the throwing will significantly improve players' cooking speed. The use of the throw gets more and more important in the game. It is way faster to throw the foods than to deliver the food in person. The throwing is a new feature compared to the previous version, Overcooked 1. Not only can players catch food, they can also throw some of them directly into the pot. By doing so, the game encourages players to think of more strategies the throw is built to increase the operational complexity and speed up the game. Also, it helps the player to get higher score to pass the level. Thanks for watching.